Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. In this video we're going to be talking about a new card spoiled for release for the Spiral Archetype in Raging Tempest. Now this one is already leaps and bounds a bit better than Spy Gal Misty because of the fact that in theming it is a spiral card, meaning that it is actually directly supported by all of the spiral themed cards that we currently have for the most part. But anyway, this new card is a new monster. It is called Spiral Tough and it is a level 4 wind warrior type monster with 1900 attack and 1500 defense. And its effects are, this card's name becomes Spiral Super Agent while it is on the field or in the graveyard. That's actually really good because that means that you can combo this off in multiple ways with things like Spy Gal Misty. You can establish multiple copies of Super Agent on the board very easily in turn after turn basis because Super Agent can only summon itself from your hand once per turn. So this allows you to have another normal summonable card or special summonable card out of your graveyard that is treated as spiral super agents that's actually really good but once per turn you can declare one card type monster spell or trap and target one card your opponent controls reveal the top card of your opponent's deck and if you do destroy the targeted card if the revealed card is the declared type wow that's actually just so good the only problem i have with this card is that you have to normal summon it but at least it's treated as super agent meaning it directly supports all of your stuff and it is summonable out of graveyard off of different effects and stuff like your spiral gear big red stuff like that you can actually get this card onto the board very effectively in multitudes of ways and you can essentially just use spy gal misty in conjunction with this card to destroy any card in play as long as you can target or destroy said card spy gal misty could even yield you a plus one off of a draw but even if she doesn't you are going to be able to reveal a card and know what it is and then you'll immediately be able to summon your spiral super agent or summon this use its effect to destroy a card and honestly your play strings can really structure very nicely from there because say you have like spy gal misty on board you could call the card if it's wrong whatever normal summon this reveal it again call it right destroy a card then summon super agent by revealing the card and calling it right again like there's there's so many different actual like things that you can do because we have so many ways to actually look at the opponent's top card now, at least in theming. And because this is a spiral, it's fantastic. Literally, this card is fantastic because it is a spiral. Just like Spy Gal Misty would have been insane if it was a spiral, but unfortunately, they got one letter wrong. They replaced the R with a G. But, yeah, basically, I'm really a big fan of this card. I really like how this card looks. I like its artwork. I like, uh, I like its effect, essentially. I'm really glad that you can't special summon this in the same way that Super Agent can be special summoned, because Super Agent is definitely like the linchpin and boss of the deck, essentially, so it kind of makes sense that even though this card is treated as Super Agent, it doesn't have that same sort of thing going on with it. And I'm also very curious as to what the story behind the card's artwork is itself, because it looks like, I guess, a younger Super Agent, I guess? I'm not sure exactly. Or if it's just the second agent like if it's just another spiral super agent if it's just another agent in the organization that they're in in their little espionage group or whatever but i'm actually really curious to see how the lore of this archetype uh like fleshes out in terms of who is what what's connected all this sort of stuff because lore is actually something i really appreciate but basically i really like this this is actually something the deck needed a lot it needed more ways to actually do things, and this is a card that does something, and it's directly supported by your entire deck. So, I want to know what you guys think about this card in the comments down below, whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whether you think it's too much, whether you think it's not enough. Always curious as of your opinions, and I definitely want to see them in the comments down below, as I've already said. But other than that, if you like this video, definitely be sure to drop a like to support the channel. Subscribe if you already haven't, if you're new here, and other than that, links are in the description of my Facebook as well as a Patreon page if you want to back me on that. There's a link on screen as well some point in the near future or maybe even now. If you want to contribute and help support me directly, you can definitely do so there. I have a monthly giveaway that I'm doing directly linked with the Patreon, so if you definitely want to get details on that, go check that out. But other than that, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below, and I guess I'll see you around. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, and take care guys. I will see you in the next video.